so sorry for the delay this took me a while to finally get some time to sit down and kind of do a follow-up video uh, I know I did an unboxing and since then I've had I think about a month now of you know kind of I wouldn't say full active use but I've definitely been taking the Citrix tablet around uh, when my wife and I go to a cafe we you know sit around and, and uh, kind of she does her work and I'm just kind of still putting this tablet through its paces but um, you know so far I'm really really still impressed by it um, let me close this uh, just a couple things I think f as a follow-up from my earlier video is that uh, I don't know if I mentioned this but there is a screen protector I discovered that they actually put on for you from the factory so that was a great little bonus that I found out so that was cool um, other than that you know responsiveness is so great battery life is I would say it's still excellent uh, you know I actually was out of town and I was not using it for a week and I had it still in sleep mode and it's you know I have a little bag for it um, and it's still you know I think it by the time I took it back it out it was not even 50% I think it was a little above 50% battery life after a full charge and that was with Wi-Fi off because I'm finding myself like you know I'm not if I'm using it for web stuff I'll, I'll do that. Let me turn off this. I'll show you what that is later. But, you know, when I'm on the web, I'll, I'll, I'll certainly jump on and use it for multimedia. And it's not disappointing in any way. You know, I'm, I'm on Reddit. I'm watching videos. I was watching um, Netflix on it. It's been great. My only sort of criticism, and I think this is true of uh, uh, the Q by 7 as well, is the speakers on on this device are a little weak i mean majorly weak uh, you know but again multimedia wasn't my primary reason for for buying this it was mainly all the other features and uh, it's been great you know so uh, i think the one big follow-up that a lot of people didn't really get from uh, at least from what i could tell for reviews for the q by seven were you know, how does this hold up as a Wacom enabled uh, digitizer Windows tablet? You know, and I can say, you know, for, as an amateur artist, I think it's great. You know, um, I took me a while to configure, you know, a couple of my apps. Um, let me run you through a couple things. Sketchbook Pro, I don't think I worked out the kinks and I know it's that version having to do with like WinTab drivers. So I'm not going to show that. I think that's a software compatibility issue so I'm just gonna bring up art rage 4 and I don't have anything really uh, in here let's just see if there's updates no new versions cool this is the full version I paid for this a while ago as I was trying to find the uh, sort of right app for me uh, I don't know if I have found the right app but you know it's certainly fun coming in here I think my goal at some point is you know come back with the tablet and uh, you know maybe do a Bob Ross painting at least that's my dream off of this you know and uh, you know this has been pretty pretty great in art rage I mean I, I think when I try to push it it's really like whoops wrong tool I think when I try to load up the brush and layer up a whole bunch of things but you know see if it slows down and so far it, it, it does a really great job I remember on my other tablets you know when art was trying to it's trying to calculate the blending as you can see I mean it's a great tool for almost real life media right um, it would kind of chug at the end and you know, I haven't noticed anything as I'm playing around um, if you haven't used art rage before it's it's a great app I know they have mobile versions as well uh, I haven't tried them for Android but I can tell you um, if you want that natural media simulation uh, this is this is a way to go 
you know, definitely on, on Windows, definitely the way to go. Uh, I'm not sure what else to show off on this, honestly. I don't know if I can show, yeah, that's just another filter effect. But yeah, I mean, really happy with the performance in, in ArtRage. Um, this is a default canvas settings, which I'm not 100% sure like what the resolution is, but it seems to handle itself well. I know uh, this isn't very meaningful when I'm just black covering the screen. So let's move on to something at least a little more practical. So um, I actually only recently picked up Manga Studio. Uh, this is version five and I've, I'm still learning it. I'm still getting used to the interface, but I, I so far I really like the program. And I think it does a good job of sh really showing off what this tablet can do. Um, especially when it comes to the interface for Manga Studio, I think uh, from what I was reading, they, they really did a good job of integrating sort of touch controls. But it's such, um, to me, it's a UI heavy sort of um, program that I was worried about real estate for drawing. But as I'll show you, I'm going to open up a file I've been working on. And, and I just wanted you to know, I mean, I, I actually am running all my save files off of the uh, SD card slot. That's where I'm saving all my work. And at the same time, I'm also running open uh, broadcaster software and I'm recording to the SD card. And I, you know, I've been doing this back and forth as a test before this final video, and I don't see any performance loss. It's been really good about, um, you know, writing and doing simultaneous work. So uh, I bet you're wondering what this is. So I used to use ArcDoc with um, my other tablets, and that worked great. However, I, I got really frustrated because I could not figure out how to get Art Doc working on the Citrix Complex 11T. It just doesn't recognize touch settings. And, uh, you know, it is, you know, what it is, that's totally fine. So I, but I really wanted to get alternatives to it because I find having a quick panel touch shortcut sort of bar like this really does a good job in, in kind of maximizing your um, sort of efficiency when when drawing. So as you can see, I mean, I found this thing called Touch Key. Uh, I'll try to put the remember at least remember the URL in the uh, comments for the video. But uh, it's made by a Japanese developer, and I found it. I, I forget which forum. I was just trying to look for alternatives. Stumbled upon this. It uh, looks like it's still actively developed by the developer. Uh, Google Translate does, does a pretty good job at translating his website. So I was able to download it. And he did include uh, sort of English readmes that were, at least to me, I could follow them along, you know, and was able to hack together my own little double wide shortcut with, you know, I swapped out Japanese text for undo, redo. And I'll show you in a second what, what this does if you're not familiar. So. Uh, this is just a sketch. Uh, I actually have a series of them I'm trying to finish for my buddy, uh, Ben, who is like the best DM in the world. Uh, but he actually had a campaign for his nephews. Um, I think it was their first D&D campaign ever over the holidays. And he asked me to sketch their characters ahead of time. And they love the sketches, but I was like, eh. You know, I have this tablet. I'm definitely going to put some time into like clean it up, try to you know learn the workings of this, and uh, especially Manga Studio. And then, really, I was hoping to use it as a springboard for a good review uh, to post. So, I don't know if you can see. I mean, I, I'm using a combination of touch right now, like I'm pinching a zoom and rotating as well and it's it's pretty good at responding to it and if you see the resolution I, I set this as an a4 document at 350 dpi i don't know what the kids use nowadays as standard resolution but to me this is sufficient 
so you know uh, it's it's great because I I'll show you my layer setup I mean I just have the base image here on top layer right now I'm doing inking first like I said I'm trying to relearn a lot of these things I've been out of the art scene for a while so so with touch key you know I it works great in conjunction if you notice I'm pressing I'm actually pressing the P button and it's toggling between the tools and that's what I really love about this you know so I already have this set for a G pen so I'm just gonna try to show you and I don't have the steadiest of hands but as you can see the pressure sensitivity is spot on you know I certainly don't get a sense of any lag and I'm kind of glad this showed up here uh, that's one thing I am noticing as I draw is that uh, while for the most part the touch sort of um, I forget what they call it but the palm rejection there we go works pretty well there are some instances where I if I come in too low to the bottom edge it'll actually pick up my palm touching the bottom here first but if I remember to put my pen down first uh, it still works pretty well granted it's a little frustrating I try to kind of work around that by moving the toolbar uh, slash start menu to the top of the screen uh, that was just a little awkward for me because I kind of missed it being at the bottom. <laughs> Maybe I'm just too old school. But uh, I am finally, you know, as a solution, I went out to a $1.50 Japanese store and picked up a pair of just really thin winter gloves and cut off a couple of the fingers so that I can wear it as I draw and it won't pick up my palm. And that has actually proven very, very effective. So I'm really happy about that. This is where I wish I added more details during the sketch because I can't remember what I did here. I think it was a latch I did. But yeah, I mean, as you can see, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with the pressure sensitivity picking up. You know, it, it seems to do a really good job here. Um, and again, I, I'm going to do a follow-up, I think, on especially on this drawing might be handy when I start doing some colors and some layers just to see how well, you know, that, that affects, you know, the overall feel of drawing on this. But yeah, I'm, I'm still really happy with the tablet and my purchase, and I'm glad I took that leap. And I'm really sorry that it's such a delayed uh, response in my previous video. So I hope, I hope I'm able to like you know uh, sway some of you. I know I got a comment today saying, "Hey, you know, I picked this up because of you know in no part, you know, just the video I did, which is always great to hear. I've i never done." an unboxing much less any videos if you see my channel so I kind of want to get into it partially just to feel more brave you know and put myself out there because I want to get back into being creative so this is a first step um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll try to remember to put in the links to touch key and if you have any questions, you know, feel free to reply to the video. Thanks again. Have a good one.